energy. Now, our body runs off ATP, that's adenosine triphosphate, so it's an, aden it's an adenosine molecule, and that's combined with three phosphorus molecules. Now, there's potential energy stored in that final bond of the phosphorus molecule. Okay, If we can break this, this is known as an exothermic reaction, and it gives off heat. This release of energy is what our body uses to fuel movement or kinetic energy. Okay, so if we can break down ATP into ADP plus P, then we can release energy and we can move. Now we do this by using ATPase. This breaks that final bond. Now, in order to resynthesize ATP molecules, that effectively restoring our energy levels, we need to break down in the ATP PC system compounds of phosphocreatine. Now, phosphocreatine can be broken down by creatine kinase. This exothermic reaction can resynthesize one ATP. By that I mean that enough energy is given off by breaking the phosphorus molecule away from the creatine molecule by the creatine kinase breakdown. Enough energy is given off to reattach a single phosphorus molecule back to an ADP or adenosine diphosphate. In doing so, we now have an ATP molecule ready for our muscles to use to produce kinetic energy.